Hi, I'm Seamless. This is the 69th 75k tutorial. This one was requested by Diplodocus Rar, and it is about the percussive kind of tom sound that's in this track. Boom, that guy there. And this is what I got. Um, the request spe specified synthesizing it, however, I'm fairly certain that's just a drum hit. But I decided to try and synthesize it anyway in Armor, so we'll talk about how we do that. This video is brought to you by Cymatics. And uh, what they've got for you today is a free download of 10 presets and 20 wavetables of animal sounds. And it's actually really badass. Uh, I'll show you a couple things. I talked about it in a previous video. I'm going to talk about it again because this video is also sponsored. More than one video was sponsored for this. And um, it's all pretty sweet. So we have a bunch of de these wavetables. I'm also just going to show you the wavetables because like, that's honestly, to me, the coolest part. I'm particularly fond of the lion ones. That's just neat. Ha oh, This is really cool. And oh, there's a bunch of other weird ones like goats and pigs and gooses. Geese. Tiger. I haven't tried tiger yet. <laughs> anyway, I think these are cool. Um, you go to the link in the description of the video. You can actually download the... Or we'll go to the page that will let you eventually download it. Um... Go to that link, is what I'm saying. Click on that link. And also, in down down there is this preset, which is the thing for this video. So, um, I I just kind of earballed it because I didn't actually I didn't actually analyze this. I just kind of th heard what I heard. And essentially what I'm doing here is I have this square. That's kind of the main body of the sound. And I just have a bandpass coming down on it, and I'm kind of uh, EQing up in, in the global, the, the base of it, because it's not really a bassy sound. It's kind of uh, just sort of there. Um, a little bit of unison to kind of make wobble, wobble around a bit. Really, not not a lot happening here beyond that. There's some chorus and reverb, and then on the the B side is the hit. I tried kind of hard to, to make like the actual hit be a hit, but I had kind of have a hard time shaping it to sound like anything other than a kick top, which is not really what it sounds like. Yeah, Harmer isn't really the best choice for this kind of thing. However, I didn't, um, I wasn't really in the mood to try it to make it work with citrus, where I absolutely could have synthesized that exact, exact specific kind of percussive hit, but it would have taken forever. Um, the real, the basic part of this is that there's uh, some unison, it's on, also on the square side, but that's just because it's added better. There's not really any kind of practical reason. I'm low passing it to keep it, you know, the just kind of keeping it in there. A little bit of uh, uh, resonance on the cutoff, so that like wherever the cutoff is, it kind of, Puts up this little, little bump right there, which kind of gives it that accent. Um, and then also, what else? Volume, really small volume, and then the pitch fall. The pitch fall is the big part of what makes the sound sound the way it does. Since, I mean, without the volume at all. That's kind of what that sounds like. I also crunched up the, the detune a little bit, which now that I think about it, because I'm on square, it's basically just as if I were doing a saw. I guess it's a little bit different, so we'll keep it, keep it there. Um, this is... Going into, am I doing anything special with the effects? Kind of. Um, I'm. It's not going into the reverb as hard as it would be if it were sort of default. Because I really want the majority of the reverb to be this, this guy. And then um, they're both they're all being compressed a little bit, the chorus and reverb and whatnot. And then there's the sound. End of story. Um, again, I, I'm pretty sure the original sound was just kind of just a hit, a drum sample. But that may have been processed to be a little bit extra reverb being kind of present. But synthesizing it raw in Harmer is how I would go about it, like this. Um, yeah. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. You can get this link uh, in the description of this video to get the project or the patch for this. And also the other link, the Cymatics link, to go get the uh, 10 presets and 20 wavetables of animal stuff, which is pretty sweet. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as usual, wow, I really botched that up. But have a nice day. Have a nice day.